Okay, so I wanted to do a correction video because I think I may have been wrong on something about this DP75 Geiger counter. It's still a very good unit, however I don't think it actually goes as high as I thought it did and I think I might have explained the scale wrong. So, on most Geiger counters, for example like the CDV one, you will see that it has a basically multiplication scale. If I can get that into frame, because I've zoomed in. This is awkward, but there we go. So it says times 1 times 10 times 100 and off on there. Now, that's how I assumed that this Geiger counter works, because that's also how the Soviet ones worked. Um, but I don't think it actually does now, the more I look at it. So on this scale, basically, um, it's a 0 0.5, if I just go down to 0 0.5, 5, 50, um, then on the Röntgen per hour scale, it's 0 0.5, 5, 50, and then 500. So I assume that would be what the multipliers were. I think how this actually works now, now I've been trying to compare the readings on it to other Geiger counters, is that number there is the highest number you'd have on that end of the scale. So if it's 0 0.5, that 5 there becomes 0 0.5. If it's 5 there, that is the, that's like as it appears there, 5 is 5. If it's 50, that 5 becomes 50. Um, so that would actually be 10 times, I imagine, that scale. Like that's, that's 0 0.1 essentially, that's 1. And then that scale there would be times 10. Then 0 0.5 Röntgen would actually be times 100. So I actually think this is a times, um, you know, a scale to, on the times 10, like the CDV uses. Although it's basically showing you what the number is at the far end. And then obviously 5 Röntgen per hour is 10 times 0 0.5 Röntgen per hour. 50 Röntgen per hour is 10 times that. And then I believe when you actually go all the way down to the 500 Röntgen per hour scale, Although that would technically still be times 10, I believe how you're actually meant to read that one is probably the bottom scale. Because the count, if that was counts per minute, they don't actually match up with the other numbers like on the CDV and other Geiger counters. So I don't think that's counts per minute. I think it's when you go to the 500 Röntgen per hour scale, you instead use the bottom one. A bit like how the Soviet DP5 series on the 200 Röntgen scale uses the different bit of the scale. So to check the the logic on this. So let's go to the scale which I think is actually 0 0.1, where it says 0 0.5, because that then becomes 0 0.5. If we turn the CDV on to 1x, the CDV scale is now 0 to 0 0.5, and this scale should be in theory 0 to 0 0.5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get both the probes of these Geiger counters and put them next to each other. Um, I'll have to do this out of frame, because I said it's very awkward trying to frame this all in at once. Um, if I turn this sideways, you might be able to see both of them a bit better, maybe. And let me zoom it out ever so slightly. Right, so there's both your Geiger counters. So what I'm going to do is get the probe on this one as well and put this next to the other probe. So if I get a source of just gamma radiation, which is um, my thorium extract, um, let me put that between the two probes and hopefully get them close enough to each other that, you know, you should get an accurate reading from both. Now what you should see on each of the scales is... If we assume that this one is showing 0 0.1 of what you're actually reading, so 5 is 0 0.5, remember, ignore that bottom scale, and CDV is basically as you would read it, because we're on the times 1 multiplier, they work out very similarly. So we'll see, if that gets to 1, that's 0 0.1. That one is just on about 0 0.1 now. So I'm pretty sure that's actually how it works. So now, if I quickly get some Fiesta wear, and this is going to be harder to demonstrate because it's not a completely flat shape, um, if I open the beta probes on each of the Geiger counters, bear with me one second. That's that one open. Now let me open the CDV's probe. And there we go, that's in the open position. Now if I put the Fiesta wear between them, and bear in mind, as I've said before, this isn't going to be perfectly accurate because it's not a completely flat piece, so some of it might be more radioactive than other bits. Both have gone off the scale. Right, now let's go to the times 10 scale on each of them, or what I believe would actually be the times 1 on this rather than 0 0.1. Let's just zero that one. And the um, CDV should drop down on its own, because it doesn't have a zero switch. So, the Polish DP75, that's now sitting um, around 3. So I believe that would actually just be 3 Röntgen. Uh, rather than before, I'd have assumed that would be now times 5, um, you know, which would be 15. But it's, I actually don't think that's the case now. I believe that where it's saying that, it literally means between 3 and 4. Whereas if you notice on this one now, between 3 and 4. I'm pretty sure that has to be it. So apologies if anybody's bought any of these, um, believing that they went up to 2,500 Röntgen per hour, 
because that's actually what I thought they did. Um, but I believe, no, it goes up to 500 Rongen per hour, and that is basically a times 10 scale multiplier, just like this one has a times 10 scale multiplier. It's just, for whatever reason on this one, they've put the thing on a really weird kind of way of writing it. It's probably the same with the DP66. This is still a lovely Geiger counter, though, don't get me wrong. Um, it's a very good efficiency, high accuracy probe on there. Um, it's a pleasure to use and everything. But that just makes a lot more sense to me now. So yeah, see that on the SOX, uh, not SOX, sorry, on the Polish one, the DP75, it's hovering about 3. It's gone to about 0 0.4 on there, but the Fiesta Wear is ever so slightly closer to the other probe. So now if I move it a bit closer to the Polish probe, notice that the Polish one is going up ever so slightly, and that one's going down ever so slightly. Again, I can't get these completely accurately between the two. Uh, let me just put the Thorium vial in between the two, and I know, again, this isn't going to be completely accurate, but this is the beta shield open this time. Let's see if they stop at the same place with each of them. So about 1.5, just going down a bit on the... Um, CDV, and it's stopping around 1, or is it going down even more on the Polish one? Let me just check that, it's as patted down as it can be to be as accurate on both of the counters. Yeah, and it looks like the needle's stopping in about the same place on each again. So, again, it's going up a bit more on the CD because it's getting to about 1.5 rather than being, that would be 1.25 on the Polish one. And again, it could be just, it's, if I move that a bit, will the readings change? Let me just lay it flat, actually. I don't know if that would be more accurate or less accurate, but um, let's just try this. I think it might be that the probe in the... Um, Victorine one actually sits closer. So let me just put that directly with my hand on top of the um, Polish probe. And then hold this one ever so slightly back to accumulate them for distance. Yeah, if I manually set them with my hands, where I think the distances should be, they do pretty much equal out again. So yeah, apologies if I gave people the wrong information on this. This is literally what I thought it did. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a times sort of 1 or 10 multiplier scale sort of thing, not a times 5 one. And again, the numbers you see there are the numbers at the top end of the scale. And that the 500 Ronken one actually uses the bottom scale. So that's at least how I understand it now. Um, that was just kind of calibrating it with other Geiger counters and realising that the numbers... What I thought I was getting on that seemed way too high. Um, and yeah, that makes total sense to me now. So, because that's the most logical explanation, I think that's how it works. I think that is a 1, 10, 100, exam, you know, type scale on it. Or 0 0.1, 1, 10, you know, like that. Just like this one is. So yeah, there's my explanation. Sorry for any wrong information before, but I'm pretty sure that's actually how it works now.